and we're going to work out a couple more examples on Simpson's rule. We're going to start out with the integral from 1 to 2 of x log x using Simpson's rule with n equals 4. So we're integrating from 1 to 2 and we're using n equals 4. Remember for Simpson's rule n always has to be even so we break the interval from 1 to 2 into four equal pieces and so that means our break points are 1, 5 fourths, 3 halves, 7 fourths, and 2 and then that means that delta x which is the width of the intervals is 1 fourth and so we're going to invoke Simpson's rule formula. It starts out with delta x over 3, so that's 1 twelfth. And then you plug these points into the function that you're integrating, in this case x log x, and you attach these coefficients. Remember that funny pattern, 1, 4, 2, 4, 1, uh, sorry, better if I write it down, 1, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, as many times as you need until the last one is 4 and then 1. So the first point is 1, so we'll do 1 times the natural log of 1 plus 4 times, now we're going to plug 5 fourths into the function, so that's 5 fourths times natural log of 5 fourths plus 2 times what you get when you plug 3 halves into the function. So 3 halves times natural log of 3 halves plus 4 times 7 fourths natural log of 7 fourths plus 1, the coefficient is 1, times what you get when you plug 2 into the function. So then 2 times natural log of 2. Now this could be a little bit simplified because natural log of 1 is 0, but the other values aren't common values that we know easily, so this would be something that you would plug into a calculator, and I've already worked it out on my own calculator. Here's what you get, 0 0.67233, 48708. So to reiterate what we're doing there, we are estimating an integral as the area under a curve using the Simpson's rule formula. And so that's the answer that we get.